Okay, here's a new workflow for creating animatics inside of Photoshop, which works very well for me. Go to the top right, uh, you see a button, most likely it says Essentials, switch it over to uh, Motion. Now you get a timeline. Here's an example that I did, a crowded timeline, and you can play it as if it's a Premiere Pro file. And you can add audio, you can uh, make clips longer and shorter and cut them and rearrange them and stack them as real Photoshop layers, which they are. Here are uh, two layers and I uh, I'm going to uh, I, I put them in a uh, in a group in a video group. When you click on one of these uh, clips in the timeline, you are in fact selecting a layer. Uh, it's very easy to find your layers. Easier than um, searching through the layer stack that we uh, we're used to in Photoshop. Then I switch on uh, onion skinning, and here I am drawing this simple bounce action with a ball just to explain how this works of course you can also stack layers by making a new layer and putting it above the video group one uh, i'm this is basically it should be a background layer i i, I should uh, rearrange it below the ball but it doesn't matter i'm drawing a horizon with trees and a church on it just to show you Lower down the opacity, maybe give it a, a color, a gray color, the floor. There you go. And now we have a background layer and a ball bouncing. Now I'm going to make yet another layer. I'm going to draw a mouse on it, shooting under the ball from right to left. Okay, there's the mouse. You can add audio as well. There's an audio track and you basically use it the same way as you use the other clips. You just cut them and rearrange them and make them longer and shorter. And you can also move layers. The opacity of the layer, you can animate that over time. You can also animate the position over time. Um, and you do that by using keyframes. So we make the keyframe here at point zero the mouse is all the way to the right and it shoots right under the ball make it a little faster okay and then shorten the clip because we don't need the rest of it here you go an animatic of the most ridiculous movie ever made done in photoshop and you can export it as a movie file as you would do in premiere pro I hope you liked this tutorial and gave you some ideas. This is my favorite way of uh, working on uh, animatics.